Hi guys, welcome to a player review on this 91 rated group miners. We're looking at a card that is 3 star, 3 star, 77 kilos, and has 90 pace, and is left footed. The reason you want to use this card is because you want to link them to Anthony and Claver. I put an engine on him because I wanted to increase his agility and balance, and as he already had good defending and physical stats. And he's pretty tall, so he's going to be good at intercepting. Now let's see how he performs in-game. So this is the team we're going to play with. As you can see, he's a pretty good team. I have 97 rated Maradona, Anthony is Claver. That's probably one of the reasons you'll even use this card. All right, now let's get into the game number one. As you can see, he has pretty much a starter squad with not too good players. As you can see from the start of this game, I do a nice one too with Coop Miners, and then I do a nice little dribble. I do like two body feints in a row that shows his agility and balance. When I was trying this card, I realized that you cannot play him as a, as a center mid, as he's just not too good offensively. But he's he's brilliant at defense as he has long legs and he's able to make big big time defensive plays. And as you can see, he's going on the attack. I dive in, but then I use that pace of his to track back and win the ball. And this that tackle leads to a counter attack in which that counter attack leads to a goal with Kingsley Coleman. By the way, guys, if you have not tried this Kingsley Coleman card, he's absolutely ridiculous. He's so fast. His weak foot doesn't affect anything at all. You should definitely try him out for around 250k. All right, now let's test his pack at pass accuracy. That's a nice little ping. Back to Coop Miners. Nice little turn to beat the defender and then pings it. So, so far what I've noticed is that his passing is very accurate, but he's not that responsive on the ball. Maradona. All right, let's pass it. Let's see his attacking AI Coop Miners. He does a nice little scissor there. And then back to Coop Miners. Coop Miners. Ooh. Bad pass. Claver. Now Coop Miners on the ball. And he loses the ball. And I'm through on goal with Anthony, and he gets a red card. I just, I'm going to take this free kick with Coop Miners as I think he has good, good stats. I'm going to try to aim for this top corner. Oh, I messed up. Yellow timed it. Ooh, off the post. What is that line doing there? That's such a glitch. Cool Miners with a nice little tackle, and he comes back to Anthony. I sweat it at Coleman. Coleman misses it. Right when I say that, he's absolutely cracked. Well, back to Coleman, and then he scores a finesse. <laughs> oh, and he slide tackles Mover from behind. I'm surprised Coop Miners isn't injured after that. Now we counter with Coop Miners. Nice old dribble. I tested out his burr, but spin. it's not too good. And then we tested out. He's dribbling right here, but he's the guy, the opponent is not really trying because he just has like, he's just sliding in like, with everybody. Now I was trying him as a, as a more attacking CM and now I'm gonna try him as a CDM because as we saw, he was not too good at CM.
the second half underway and what we saw in the first 45 was dazzling football from the Krakens. Are we in for more of the same in the second half? Well, let's try dribbling him a little bit more here. He does his body feints pretty well in ball rolls, but he only has a three-star skill, so you can't even do La Croqueta with him. He took me out there, and now it's Amidi. He passed it, and now it's Coop Miners. Nice little skill. And I tried a shot, but it was with his right, and he has a three-star weak foot. Now we get the ball to Coop Miners. He does a nice little skill, and I go for a shot, but it's not too good. Nice little dribbling with Coop Miners there. I can say this is that he has good fake shots and ball rolls, but when you try to do a Burba spin, he's not too good. And there, he missed like an open goal with his right. There we feed the ball to Coop Miners again, and he gets absolutely taken out. I don't know how that's not a foul. And we end up winning the game 5-0. Here's his stats, and like passes completed he did for this game. But this game was really just like a warm up because he wasn't really trying and he didn't have a good team either. Quick team change. Instead of Maradona, I decided to put use Puskas because I've wanted to try him for a long time. And now this is an actual game because he actually he has a good team and he's he has 94 prime moments, Cantona. In the beginning, I start off attacking Bandolin with Rousselion. Then I cut it back and Anthony first post! Anthony, that's one of the reasons you'll even buy this card. He's so good. He, you just need to link him. He's hard to link, and this is this card is incredible value to buy it. And he comes back, he scores with Kareem Benzema. Absolute kind of ridiculous goal, though. You can watch it in the rewind. Because he kind of did it like a volley, but I don't know how my goalie didn't grab the ball, though. And then here I'm just trying to dribble with Coop Miners and then I pass it back. We're going on the attack top solo about Coop Miners. He pings it to Blanc, Blanc, Coleman, Puskas, Puskas. Also when I was trying Puskas, he was not too good, honestly. The three star weak foot is really, like, does not help. Three star usable, three star weak foot is not good enough for this stage of the game. What a tackle by Kimpembe, but then I try to do a pass and I lose it. Then he's going back, he does a heel hit to heel, and he scores with Kareem Benzema. Kareem Benzema is actually an incredible card, but for some reason when I use him, he doesn't feel usable as the gameplay conditions are just not good enough. But for some reason, he always scores against us. And now we cross, he's doing the most with Rousselion, absolutely disgusting, and destroys my entire defense and is beating us three to one at half time. Yeah, Rousselion, if he didn't do the objectives, honestly, he's just, he's just like a great left back. An alternative to Mendy if you don't want to be a meta, meta rat. Honestly, when I was trying Mendy, he wasn't too good, honestly. He felt a little heavy. Puskas, I shoot it, and it goes out for a corner, and it's half time. And honestly, I have wish more shots and more possession than him, so honestly, I feel like I should be winning this game, but it's okay. And now I'm gonna try, I've, I switched to the 4-3-1-2, and 
and I'm going to play him as a CD, and I'm going to bring Blanc off for Lotaro Martinez, and I'm going to bring Old Black in for Steve Mandanda because Steve is just, I don't know, he's just not too good, and Old Black is, makes sometimes incredible saves. Away they go again. Now we're going on. Coleman. Uh, Coleman. Down, and that's a pen. I honestly didn't, I don't think that's a pen at all. You can see in the rewind, and I try to take it with Coop Miners, and I do take it with Coop Miners. And I'm going top bins, and then I go middle. Always go middle. It always works, especially in low divisions, if you're not the greatest at FIFA. He throws it out with his Nick Pope. He, I win the ball with the Rousselion. Then I go Lataro Martinez, whip it in. Kingsley Coleman at the front post. What a goal, what a header. That's one of the greatest headers I've seen in the 85th minute. That could be a tire. I will try to press to try to get the winner, but it does not happen as there was not enough time to get a winner in this game. When I was trying this Coop Miner, she was just not good enough at this stage of the game. That's why I give him a 75 out of 100. But honestly, to link it to Anthony, he's very good for objectives and stuff. He's honestly a great alternative, but I think free Gravenberch is still better. Don't forget to like and subscribe as I put so much time making these videos. See you guys next time.